Yo, yo, rocking the TikTok angle on this one. Don't ask me why, giving it a try. Also, it's on the fly. We're just out and about. Just doing a quick vid. I'm starving my butt off here and I'm about to get stolen my position by an intruder. Uh, yeah, I'm just starving right now. And Wendy's is right here and I haven't had Wendy's in, I have no idea when the last time I had Wendy's was, probably months. And for some reason, like a, like a Dave's Bacon Classic, I might get a double, I'm not sure, is really heavy on the mind. And then, I don't know, I might just get another sandwich of some sort, like a, like a chicken sandwich or something. Because I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Wendy's fries. They're just like kind of meh, in my opinion. I don't know. And also, car fries are always a fucking disaster. I could get some chili. I definitely don't want to mess with a big potato or anything in, the, in a car situation. It seems a little, a little rugged and raw for me. But um, like a salad, I could have a salad, maybe a burger and a salad, but salads in cars are kind of scary business as well. So it's like, I'm really, the side game at Wendy's messes me up. Cause like, I would just, if this was like McDonald's and they had good fries, I would just probably hit the fries, but I don't know. It's just, it's pressure. I got, I got, I got the, the, the pressure from the sides right now. It's really messing with my mind, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. If there's one thing I do know is that we will figure it out. Do I get a frosty? Like what, what do I, am I going to be that guy? Do I get a frosty? Is that, is that a move? Is that what we're doing? It's always like that's always a possibility so wendy's really has like taste the rainbow the selections and uh for an indecisive person like me it makes my life extremely difficult <laughs> but it's um it's nice to have options but when you have a scrambled brain like me overthinker it's just too much it's just too much yeah, okay. all right pressure was on I felt it and uh, I made an on-the-fly decision we're going with the bacon deluxe single side Caesar salad didn't see that one coming at all and two grilled not grilled crispy gotta be crispy chicken snack wraps uh, I don't know if anybody who wastes their time with grilled chicken snack wraps but I guess if you're watching your what you're taking in then then fine that's that's a, a fine choice for you but if i'm gonna eat a snack wrap chicken then i'm gonna eat this garbage anyways i might as well get the fried version of the chicken my justification of being a fat ass thank you for coming to my ted talk thank you bag is secured now we gotta park it Risky behavior, risky behavior. When the bag is secure, we do risky parking lot surfing. Going all around, but we keep our eyes peeled and tight and ready for anything that comes our way in this life. And then we park far away from everybody. And we blend in like we're staying at this hotel and we eat and we don't get judged for being a car eating fat boy RD eating in his car secret eating it's not secret i'm filming it and putting it out to the world it's my one meal today get off me okay and we turn the car off so it's solitude silence dude okay all right shades up shades off eyes are a little glossy i don't even smoke weed so don't come at me it's not what this is but we got, ooh, Heinz Honey Must. I've never, never seen Heinz Honey Mustard before, so that's new. This filming angle is new. Everything's new. Okay, already Wendy's, you're hitting it out of the park. You hit me with three forks. I don't know why, I ordered one side Caesar, so maybe you thought I was feeding the kids in the back. I'll tell you what, this guy ain't got no toddlers in his life, okay? So. Snack wrap one, the bacon two, croutons, 
and the Caesar salad. Then uh, the Caesar dressing, of course. Now I don't have a receipt and I don't know if she heard me right, but I did order two of these, but there is only one in the bag. So that's a little bit of a bummer, um, but you guys know me. I don't make a fuss. I'm not going back. It's just not worth my time. If I got charged an extra $2 and they forgot it, so be it. That's that's life. It'll all work out in the wash. So I'm not going to go back and be a weird complainer because the fact of the matter is she might have only heard me say one and she might have only charged me for one. And then I look like an idiot. But this is really what I wanted more than anything was the bacon classic Dave's look at this right up front this is really where my my deep crave was today oh my god that bite looks so ridiculously perfect everything is stacked where it needs to be and this is going to be lovely Oh yeah, absolutely yes. Dude, the Wendy's bacon is always so good. Not to be played with and their pickles are absolutely delicious as well. But yeah, I'm just out here running around uh, where I'm at. We're back to like original strict life. Stay at home orders in effect. We got, I got an alert on my cell phone, like the, uh, the emergency alert. From the government saying you know stay home it's the law and i'm like is that a law since when is that a law it's a law this is a law being this good i tell you this it's the law to eat this when it's this good but they're just being hardcore and they're, they're trying to make it so people really stay home but like for example I went to the doll. I was doing some rearranging of like my closet, right? I was hanging up, installing a new bar to maximize my storage space. And then I was going to go, I needed more hangers. And then I needed like some sort of like box shelving. Something to put under the hanging shirts and organize their jeans and stuff. And I was like about to go do it. And then so I go to the dollar store and I guess in all the stores like Walmart and things like this, anything that's not food is taped off with signs, with yellow tape and signs saying like, this store will not sell you these products if they're taped off. So they're like hella serious about you staying home and buying nothing like other than food really. But it's messed up because so many things are like subjectively essential. Like for example, like baby formula or something like bottles were like off off limits like buying a car seat is off limits so it's like but what if i just had a kid what if 
You know what I mean? It just, there's certain things that are so like, it's just to the point of ridiculousness. It's like, how can you, how can you deem these certain things that people definitely need as non-essential? So I don't know. It's crazy town, but chicken wrap looking nice, looking good. Look at that. See, this is why Wendy's does get like a bit of a, a passing grade all the time is because that's a nice little piece. That's a piece, good piece of chicken. Looks good. Gonna try it naked and afraid first. Ranch sauce. But I do want to try this Heinz honey mustard. Looks good. Looks like how I expect my honey mustard to look when I make it at home, kind of. Which hoodie makes some of the most fire honey mustard. I really wish I could start selling it somehow. Very expensive to manufacture and ship out because shipping things, sending stuff in the mail, is so it's just so expensive. There you go, honey moss. Oh man. Ooh. Don't play with me. That is good honey mustard. Very good honey mustard. Mmm. That's why when you see like people who are just like an independent, like small entrepreneur, like a YouTuber, that's why when you go to their sauce page or whatever, it's always like $20 for this tiny jar. Cause first off the jar costs money to package it in. Then you got to make the sauce. So that shit costs money. Gotta buy in bulk, be smart about it. Make the shit, put it in, labeling. And then you have to get it to, to the customer. And if you're doing it alone, you're just going through like the general mail service. And uh, at least at least where I'm at, like a jar of something, there's always fees incurred to, to, to mail it out or ship it out. So in order to even make a, a profit, a very small profit, you have to charge a ridiculous price for this like jar of sauce. And I can understand it from the person, like someone like this, someone watching this video, you'd be like, I can still get honey mustard at the store for like four ninety nine or two ninety nine, three ninety nine. And that's true, you can. And it's probably just as good, maybe better, I don't know. It's just more the idea of you like supporting somebody trying to make it out here, like trying to make it in the game, trying to, you know, create create their own thing and start a business and shit. But it, it just, it's almost impossible Unless you have good money to start with, and uh, you, essentially your your customers have to understand that you're like a specialty thing, and you're you're a small self starter, and they have to just be willing to support you, and really like be willing to drop like that twenty dollar bill on some sauce. It's interesting. It's hard to get shit started. I'll tell you that. Okay, so your man messed around, and when I was in line, I was like, I kind of choked. I was like, what am I going to get as a side? And then, for some reason, I S Caesar salad was where I went. So I guess we'll have some of this. Looks decent. Obviously, like I said, the Wendy's bacon is usually nice, though. 
So let's go ahead and dress this like a champ, like a real champ would. And that is to just do general dollops, general drizz. Now you could put the lid back on and shake it up and make it go everywhere. But I feel like that's not my energy right now. I feel like this <laughs> method, this slow, torturous, probably annoying to watch method is how I'm going to roll today and I'll grab one of my three forks and get to hitting the Caesar salad we're going to skip the croutons though because they're unnecessary and they're going to just be messy and we've hit enough bread for this meal We've hit a tortilla wrap and a bun, so we don't need any more. Any carbies, you know? Sometimes we just gotta watch it before it gets out of hand. Looks like we got some slices of cheese here. I, I would say if I had to guess, it was it's Asiago, not Parmesan, because they have an Asiago chicken salad or no chicken sandwich, and I think maybe they have an Asiago some sort of chicken salad, but we're rocking with the red leaf lettuce spring mix. She's pretty good. Not the best thing I've ever popped in my mouth, but it's pretty good. But yeah, I don't know. I just figured I'd film at this angle because I had the orientation of my, uh, my holder, my unit here set up because I the last time I filmed in here I filmed like a TikTok which I've since abandoned I don't know I just don't have the TikTokers get a, a big shout out for me because it really takes like a per day energy like a bunch of times to like think of the TikTok and then like make this TikTok and then ha have it be even semi-interesting or I don't I don't even understand I don't understand how to make short form content like I'm not good at it it's low-key a skill like the other thing too is you have to have like a direction that you want to go in so like you can ride the trends or you can do like your own, like you can be like a wisdom based thing or you can be like a, uh, there's like pages that specialize in everything. Like if I wanted to use it for anything, it would be for musical snippets. And that's where like I started with the one that I just made, but I don't know, once again, it's a per day thing, like, I just don't feel like doing it all the time. I just feel like for me, when I make content or something, I have to be, or even anything to do with music, I have to be like in the mood. But for some reason, making these YouTube videos for me, even the elaborate cooking ones, like, they're just easy, like, 
I just understand. I'm so used to them. Like, I get them. I, I get, you know, the... Like, I get what I'm supposed to do. Like, I understand what I'm showing up for. And there's, a, there's, there's like, a process to it that I understand. And I'm, like, invested in the idea. So, it's like I just... I can make them because they just feel natural to me. But TikToks do not feel natural to me at all. And so many people on TikTok get crazy uh, numbers and shit for like literally the most random thing that isn't, it's not funny, It's there's no talent involved. It can just be the most simple fucking video of almost nothing and then it goes viral because the algorithm on TikTok is apparently crazy. Like, it gives everybody a shot no matter what. Like, it's kind of a true algorithm, I guess. Um, but the algorithm will, will randomly push, like, the most, like, like, video that's just nothing. Like, it's just a person, like, drinking a coffee while some song plays or something. And it'll just go viral. And then that person get like 70,000 followers. And then all the rest of their TikToks are kind of just like they don't, like most of their videos don't perform. But for some reason, they just, they hit big once or twice. And then you get like a huge following. And then from there, I, I guess you got to try to be whatever you're going to be. But if you blew up off something that's not even like interesting, then chances are your page probably isn't that interesting. And to me, that's interesting. <laughs> how that works over there but yeah i just don't i don't know i uh i don't know if i i just don't get it i, I just don't get i don't understand tiktok i wish i could be better at it i wish i knew how to have like these like snap moments of ideas but like, that's the thing is like i feel like with what you're putting on tiktok is supposed to be the snap momentary thing but I feel like the process to actually make the TikTok is a little bit like it's contrived. Like you, it takes like like a process, a plan, like some sort of effort, and then that to me kind of kills the. It almost kills that inspirational moment of this thing that's supposed to be like funny or whatever the fuck it is, whatever idea you have. Anyways, I'm rambling, but uh, yeah. Random impromptu video, just was starving. I really wanted that bacon cheeseburger. That was really where my head was at because I just haven't had a hot, delicious Wendy's in, in a long time. So anyways, hope you enjoyed my ramblings and uh, maybe you got a little a little crave on and now you're gonna have yourself a nice delicious, a nice delicious burger and you know, treat yourself and you're just gonna live your life because you never know when it's all gonna be over, so. <laughs> I'll end that one here. Till the next one, you know what to do. Don't give people too many forks and eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs>